Greetings once again from the Black Hills of Dakota Territory, United States of America. Stan Jibalisco here, continuing the video tutorial sequence for the book Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics, 3rd Edition, published by McGraw-Hill in October of 2013, edited by me. Previous editions courtesy of Traster and Lisk. We're looking here at figure 6-2 on page 117 of the spiral bound edition of this book, Beginner's Guide to Reading Schematics. If you read the description in this video, uh, there's a live link or an active link that'll take you to the Amazon page for this book, the spiral edition, I recommend it. It'll lay flat on your workbench and it has other attributes that I have expounded upon in other videos in this sequence. And if you want to look at the other videos in the sequence, go to my website, sciencewriter.net, click the link videos, and then go to the playlist called Beginner's Schematics. Or you can just click my name uh, associated with this video, the, my name there that has the active link. It'll take you to my YouTube channel wherein you will find a bunch of playlists, one of which is called Beginner's Schematics. But this is figure 6-2, and this is the component wire wrapping technique that I have described in, previous, uh, in the previous uh, video in this sequence. If you look at this right there, that is the crux of this uh, technique. This uh, polished steel finishing nail protrudes approximately three quarters of an inch to an inch, a couple of centimeters, maybe two and a half centimeters above the wooden breadboard. And it's pounded in there, the regular old hammer, polished steel, so that it will not uh, have any coating that will interfere with the conductivity uh, between the component lead or wire that you may want to wrap around here. And then you just take your fat blunt wood stove fuel stained fingers and wrap that wire around there. Well, I recommend you wash your hands before you do component uh, wire wrapping just so you don't get a bunch of garbage all over your breadboard and your components. That isn't going to help the conductivity any. But that's the practical aspect of all of this and uh, chapter 6 in this book will continue on and uh, show you some various experiments you can do, the component layouts, and compare them with schematic diagrams so you can follow the flow in both the layout and the schematic. With that, I will no longer uh, take up any of your time. Uh, I will follow this video with an actual demonstration of wire wrapping of a couple of components around that old wooden breadboard with my fat, blunt fingers. Until then, Stan Jibalisco signing off. So long.